Welcome back. This is going to be our Algebra 2 Quadratic Functions Lesson Number 4, Factoring by Grouping Homework Review Part 2. Please make sure you catch Part 1 and also the other videos for the questions that come afterwards. Uh, leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. And as always, give us a video a like if you find this helpful. All right, so the uh, question number two begins with max try some five expression 5x plus 2 times x plus 3 minus 2x minus 3 times x plus 3 as follows. So he definitely is going to, he sees here in this case that they both have x plus 3 as one of the factors. And so he factors out the x plus 3. Okay, so it looks okay. My only thing in this case is that what's left over as a greatest common factor is going to be 5x plus 2, and that totally makes sense. Okay, the problem is that it should be in this case minus 2x plus 3, meaning minus the whole thing. And so we're supposed to plug in x equals 2 and show its location is correct. And so why is this, why is this the incorrect, this, this, uh, this, this error made, how does it affect everything? Well, let's say we plug in x equals 2, all right? So for the original expression, so we're going to have in this case, I'll put bracket here, so 5 times 2 plus 2 times 2 plus 3 minus... 2 times 2 minus 3 times 2 plus 3. So 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12. Okay, so. And then 2 plus 3 is 5, which is going to be, uh, well, 2 plus 3 is 5, so it's 5 here. All right, now 2 times 2 is 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. And then 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So we're going to get, in this case, 5 times, 12, 12 times 5 is 60. And then minus 1 times 5 is 5. We should get a 55 here. So you're saying, all right, the 55, that's no big deal. But now we're going to check against their result here, the x plus 3 times 3x minus 1. See, what happens is, it no matter what, after we factor, we should always get, if it's equal to each other, it should have the same value for plugging any particular number. So, for example, if I plug in 2, I should have 55 for this. So, we have x plus 3, which is 2 plus 3. And now, times 3 times 2 minus 1. Well, that's 5. And 3 times 2 is 6 minus 1 is also 5. So, 5 times 5 is 25. Notice that they're not the same not equal and therefore there was an error made so we're going back to the error okay so in this case when we take greatest common factor we have the remaining factors and the remaining factor is going to be in this case minus in this case 2x minus 3 but the whole thing is being subtracted so what we need to do is we need to distribute the negative so what we're going to get in this case, so let's put this over here, we should be getting, uh, let's see now, it isn't green. We should be getting as a second line, x plus three times five x plus two minus two x minus three. So I just wanna show that up close here. And at this point, we're distributing by negative one, right? In the last homework problem, we were told to be very careful about that negative and make sure we distribute everything properly. So if we shoot properly, we'll have x plus 3 times 5x plus 2. That's totally okay. But then negative 1 times, neg negative one times 2x is minus 2x. And negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. So when we simplify this, we're going to get 5x minus 2x or 3x, which is what the other person got, right? Max got. But 2 plus 3 is plus 5. And so this should be the proper factoring. And we do this basically this GCF twice, if you will. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see in this case, greatest common factor, really, that's what it is, with uh, the graph factor by grouping. Um, we'll see in this case that we are going to just, um, just greatest common factor, but we have to be very careful that negative, though. Now, to show that we should get 55, we're going to plug in here. So 2 plus 3, 3 times 2 plus 5. 
we hope we should get 55 here, right? So this is 5, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 5 is 11, 5 times 11 is 55. So this is the correct, the correct simplification. Okay. All right, a beautiful page here. So this is going to be our question number two. Question number three. Factor each of the quadratic expressions completely using the method of grouping. And so we see here that we're going to group each pair together. And so we'll get, for the first pair, we're going to have 10x squared plus 6x. Then we'll group the second pair together, the 35x plus 21. Now we're going to find the greatest common factor for each pair. For the first pair, it looks like in this case that we are factoring out maybe looks like 2x because 2x divides evenly into both 10x squared and 6x. And we're left over with 5x plus 3. Now for the second pair of 35x plus 21, it looks like the GCF for that pair of numbers is going to be plus 7. If we factor out a 7, we get 5x plus 3. And so for those of you who are wondering, how do I know I'm on the right track? You will notice that these factors together, the factors we left left over, are going to be the same. And that's how you know you've been factored by grouping correctly. You found the right pair and found the correct GCF for each pair. Because now the second part would be to be able to find the greatest common factor between these two, these two expressions. And that common factor between both of them is going to be 5x plus 3. So a GCF is not just a single term. It could be a binomial. Now, if, I, if we factor out the 5x plus 3, we're left with 2x in the front and plus 7 at the end. So really, what we're doing is, in this case, we're going to group two pairs together, find the greatest common factor for each of the pairs, and then, in this case, hope that the remaining factors are also the same. So they will be the GCF for our second round of factoring. Let's see this happen for, number, for letter B. Again, we'll group together the 12x squared plus 3x, and we'll group together the negative 20x minus 5. So the GCF for 12x squared plus 3x is going to be 3x, and the remaining factor is going to be 4x plus 1. All right. Now, for the second pair of numbers, we want to end up with 4x plus 1. So for those who are thinking maybe you know, 5 is a good GCF, that's true. But our main factor wouldn't be 4x plus 1, it would be negative 4x, plus, 4x, negative 4x minus 1. So instead, our GCF will be minus 5. So if we divide each of those terms by negative 5, and what's one of the things you might want to notice in this case, if both terms are negative, you might want to factor out the negative as well too. Because negative 20x divided by negative 5 is 4x, and negative 5 divided by negative 5 is plus 1. And again, we see that they both have 4x plus 1 as the remaining factor. So when we factor, in this case, the GCF one more time, the greatest common factor between both of them will be the 4x plus 1. And the remaining factor would be 3x minus 5. And so this will be... This will be the factor, fully factor result in using the factor by grouping. And this will be the end of our Algebra 2 Quadratic Functions Lesson Number 4, Factoring by Grouping, Home Review Part 2. Again, please, uh, if you find this helpful, give it a like. Review it over again to the steps involved. Again, the steps are going to be group two pairs together, GCF for each pair, and then the GCF again from the remaining, remaining factors. Okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care and be safe.